Hey, everyone. I'm Pear. And I'm next to Pear. In case you haven't already heard, there's a major shortage out there. And his name is Little Apple. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. No, Orange. I'm talking about the shortage of hand sanitizer. People are worried about getting sick, which means certain supplies are becoming very scarce. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. What do we do? What do we do? Quick! Buy up all the supplies you can! Put them in a safe! Lift the safe up off the ground so the bears can't reach it! Orange! Orange! This is exactly the type of behavior we're trying to avoid. Relax. It's very simple. We can make our own hand sanitizer. And that's exactly what today's episode of How To is about. How to make hand sanitizer? Well, that sounds complicated. Actually, it couldn't be simpler. Step one, get three ingredients. Rubbing alcohol, aloe vera gel, and essential oil. Oh. You like how this one smells? How would I know? I don't have a nose. <laughs> uh, peppermint it is. Step two, mix them together. Ooh, my time to shine. <laughs> Dude, try to keep it in the bowl. <laughs> well, you should have been more specific. Whose fault is that? Ugh. Well, that's it. Two steps to getting your own homemade hand sanitizer. All that's left to do now is sanitize those hands. Well, if you're fortunate enough to have hands. <laughs> oh, and another thing to keep in mind is that soap and water do the trick too. Make sure you wash your hands multiple times a day to help keep yourself and others Safe! Precisely! Good hygiene is the most important thing you can do to ensure everyone stays safe and sound. No! Safe! Wow!